While this is something that I have certainly talked about before, I've never really gone into deliberation. All of us can agree that the era of crowd control is long gone, but it feels as if DPS and tanking have seemingly taken the limelight out of nowhere, almost as if the player base just slowly realized over time that crowd control just isn't worth it anymore. What can this be attributed to? A lot of reasons, actually. However, the simplest one can be broken down to this. The long and short of it is that using crowd control is in, most cases, just not worth it, or even encouraged, when compared to other options. There was a time, years past, that damage and crowd control coexisted without completely overtaking one another. Some notable examples of the past would be the usage of Ash in Void Defense missions, and the usage of Vauban in T4 survival and the Law of Retribution raids. Mace of course remains as dominant as ever, but frames that offer utility similar to Vauban's have practically faded into obscurity. How did this happen, exactly? The design of the game changed. Over time, less focus has been put on countering enemies with non-damage powers and more on just straight up killing them. This isn't something that happened all at once, because if it were, it would have been noticed straight away. The decline of CC happened in small, yet incremental steps, but they each contributed to how the game currently is, which is that using CC just feels worse when compared to just dealing damage. Nullifiers were changed so instead of just being immune to Warframe abilities, they instead became an outright counter by completely deleting them. While this made nullifiers more of a threat against players, this also silently encouraged players to focus more on damage and killing, rather than debuffs or crowd control, because after all, crowd control won't deal with a nullifier. Raids, namely the Law of Retribution, was where a lot of CC frames once thrived. However, raids were removed in the name of bug fixes, and to this day are still missing from the game. With no mode for their abilities to be of use, CC frames became less prevalent and less desirable. More and more enemies were gradually added that had the innate ability to ignore most if not all crowd control abilities. While this was first seen with boss fights throughout the star chart, this later became more frequent as enemies started receiving natural immunity to CC. The most recent example that can be given are the enemies from Operation, Buried Deaths and the Cool Entranoids from the Exploiter R boss fight. Over the years, the enemies that the players fight have become more resilient to being directly affected by CC, yet their susceptibility to taking damage has remained the same. While this has certainly been a key factor in how DPS has become supreme in Warframe, it's also been a key factor in the popularity of immortal Warframes such as Inuros, Chroma, and Nidus. Because the state of the game is to just kill everything that moves, you basically have two options. Play something that can delete enemies before they can delete you, or play something that takes longer than normal to be deleted. Crowd control warframes don't fall in either category, so it's only natural that they see less usage in our current damage and tank meta. However, that's still not the only reason why DPS is so dominant. Simply put, crowd control is just not reliable. Most of the time, crowd control warframes are relatively squishy, and thus don't have any stats or abilities that directly give them some form of survivability. As a result, it's entirely up to the player's competence and mechanics that keeps them alive, especially at high levels. Playing a Warframe that blows up easily is already bad enough, but when you start going against more and more enemies that are completely immune to the very thing that makes CC Warframes have any purpose in the game to begin with, and now you begin to see the problem. Add into account enemies that can also deal out absurd amounts of damage at high levels such as sapping Ospreys, and the problem only gets worse. DPS Warframes don't suffer from this because the only direct counter enemies have to DPS is armor, and that's already easily countered with corrosive damage from the players. Even though enemies that can provide damage reduction such as ancient healers exist, they aren't that big a problem to begin with, because unlike crowd control Warframes, DPS Warframes have a very quick and reliable method of dealing with them. That method is called, deal so much damage that you're basically a nuke. In short, CC Warframes get completely shit on by everything because CC is unreliable since enemies can resist it, CC is inferior because it's not as consistent as DPS, and CC is pointless because more and more focus is being put on killing things instead. Warframe has changed so much so that frames that were once at the forefront for what they could offer are now just relics of the past. I've seen this myself firsthand, 
Given the nosedive that Vauban has taken over the past few years because of his strict crowd control only kit. However, I am not the only one that has also seen this trend. In plain and simple terms, crowd control just pales in comparison when compared to DPS because there really isn't a place for it anymore. With raids gone and more and more and more content becoming less based around the ability usage and more based around damage, such as Elite Sanctuary Onslaught and Operation Buried Depths, it's kind of easy to see why Warframes like Mirage, Nyx, and even Loki aren't really seen that often anymore. They're not bad or anything per se. A CC still affects most enemies, it's just that in this day and age, what's the point in doing anything other than dealing and or taking as much damage as possible, especially when enemies are now more than ever capable of resisting or even ignoring your abilities? Capture missions? Most CC doesn't work against the target. Exterminate missions? The objective is killing, so CC is pointless there. Defense missions? You're defending a target against waves of enemies, so most CC will just stall out the game. Sanctuary Onslaught? The only way to progress is by killing as much as possible and as fast as possible. So using CC actually puts you at a disadvantage. Arbitration missions? Ah. <laughs> Ah, uh, good luck. Look, personal bias aside, other than things like interception, excavation, and mobile defense, there's just little to no reason to ever pick a frame like Loki, for example, over a frame like Equinox. Seriously. Yeah, you could stall out the mission and still complete it if it's on a timer, but damage also stops enemies from attacking objectives and you actually get loot from killing. Yeah, you might be thinking, well, why don't they just buff CC entirely and be done with it? And hey, that sounds like a logical conclusion. When you really think about it, it would only make the game worse by making it too easy for the players. Imagine, for a moment, if bosses didn't have invulnerability phases and were completely vulnerable to crowd control, how quickly would boss fights last? If all enemies in the game, including the new mobs on the Orb Vallis, were vulnerable to crowd control, what counterplay would players have to deal with besides nullifiers? While damage might be the meta right now, most frames at least have to build their damage. Equinox's main has to be charged, Ash has to mark targets, Garuda has to build Blood Ball, etc, etc, but CC almost universally is instant, widespread, and requires no buildup. How would enemies offer any kind of challenge if they were just immediately made useless out the door? Of course, that sounds appealing. A game where your abilities have impact and you don't have to worry about being negated unless you run into a nullifier? Who wouldn't want that? However, as great as dreaming about the overpowered potential of Warframes would be like, that would only kill whatever semblance of difficulty Warframe has left. And hey, I know, Warframe isn't exactly a difficult game to begin with, unless you consider fighting hordes of nullifiers, sapping ospreys, and various enemies with armor to be hard, but seriously, think about it for a moment. If every single enemy and boss in the game, excluding nullifiers, were affected by crowd control, what exactly then would qualify as challenge in Warframe? It certainly wouldn't be arbitrations, because if CC could work on everything, arbitration drones wouldn't matter at all. It certainly wouldn't be Sanctuary Onslaught, because making enemies more vulnerable to CC doesn't change the objective of Sanctuary Onslaught, which is to kill everything to progress into the next round. How exactly would you create a challenging environment in the game that doesn't automatically favor DPS, while at the same time not discouraging the use of crowd control or having some unfair mechanics against the player? That is a pretty complicated question to answer, because no matter what you do, CC will always either be too strong or too weak. Because in concept, CC Warframes are supposed to be strong because of their ability to directly affect their enemies, but in reality, they're not. Take Titania as an example. Even with her fairy glass cannon theme in mind, she's always been meh because the utility she provides is underwhelming and her natural squishiness makes her prone to being blown up very easily. It's just that now, Titania is seeing a little bit of a resurgence now that damage reduction from Aviator and Agility Drift finally works with her 4. As another example, Vauban was once considered to be the king of CC because his ability to quickly lock down a literal room full of enemies with the push of a button. Not only that, but the rest of his kit revolves around directly manipulating the enemy or inhibiting them in some way, which on paper would sound excellent, but in practice doesn't work. It's not the case that the ability sucks because they're bad, it's the case of the ability suck because they're either replaceable 
or just not needed. Speaking of not being needed, Loki is in a rather unique position in this game. He's not picked as often as he used to be, not because he's bad or anything, but because that Saren over there is screaming MADEEPS at the top of her lungs. Decoy does its job fine, especially with Savior Decoy, but at most it buys you a few seconds of being enemy aggro free given that it dies very, very easily. This can be bypassed since aggro is pulled through walls, but it's pretty clear the ability isn't intended to do that. So... Switch teleport, albeit mostly being an ability to quickly shift from one place to another, or just to troll your team, isn't bad, it's just that it really doesn't have much worth when going into an arbitration, for example. Invisibility and radial disarm are and always will be good, but again, with more and more enemies gaining the ability to straight up resist being affected by crowd control, it's really not much of a surprise that frames like Loki see more usage now from solo players or in low intensity missions such as survival. And mind you, this is coming from Loki, who actually has an easier time against things like nullifiers because remember, their bubbles can't undo disarms after all. So even in the best cases, CC is still going to struggle for relevancy. Because the game's core design has changed from complete the mission to fight all these guys to complete the mission, the fact that crowd control warframes aren't popular anymore shouldn't be a shocker to anyone because of course, playing something that doesn't delete enemies in a game where enemies need to be deleted for you to advance is akin to shooting yourself in the head. The question is, how do you rework crowd control to better fit into the game's state of damage above all else? Thank you, Tribute Rose. Just to clarify, do I want DPS and or tank warframes to be nerfed? Not at all. We all love Space Cowgirl, some more than others. If you ask me, if the end goal is to make CC relevant again in a game that has grown to favor damage above all else, then you first need to answer the question that is. How do you rework each CC warframe's lack of survivability, damage, and practicality without overshadowing DPS and tank warframes? while at the same time ensuring that whatever changes are made don't break the game as DPS Warframes have in the past. A special thank you to Tribu Rose for providing his voice for this video. You can check out his content and channel below, and as always, thank you for watching.